Many of you have probably seen some of the so-called optimization videos, where someone promises to teach you how to make your PC 10 times faster. They advise you to change dozens of settings, install strange programs, and run scripts that you often don't know what exactly they are doing. You can find such videos for almost every popular game, but in most cases they repeat the same things over and over with slight differences when there is something very specific to the game. But you should know that if your PC currently runs a game with 30 FPS, there is nothing you can do to make it run with 300 FPS unless you drastically reduce the graphics settings and image quality, including the resolution. Even then, you may not be able to achieve such a drastic performance difference, either because of a CPU or a GPU bottleneck. And in most of these videos, that is exactly what they are doing at some point. They reduce the image quality or optimize it, as they call it. That is because nothing else can bring more than a 15% performance increase, or let's say 20% in rare cases, unless you upgrade the hardware. Look at this thumbnail, guys. What am I missing? Please tell me in the comments below what you think. I'm not saying that you can't optimize your PC to run better than before. However, the question is whether what they show in those videos actually works, and to what extent. In a series of videos, I will test some of the most common settings and changes featured in those optimization videos with the hope of finding something that genuinely improves performance. In today's video, I will test the so-called game mode, which is available in Windows 10 and 11. I randomly picked three games, The Finals, Cyberpunk, and Counter-Strike. Each of these games I will test with graphic settings that create either a CPU or a GPU bottleneck to check the effect of the setting in both situations. In the first test in the finals, you can see the results with maximum graphic settings, 1080p resolution, and a GPU bottleneck. No matter if this setting is turned on or off, the FPS stays the same and the game runs fine either way. In the second test, I'm using the lowest possible settings to achieve a CPU bottleneck. The average FPS is again the same, with a slight difference in 1% lows, which I'm not sure if it is because the game mode is turned off. For the next tests, I decided to choose a game that has an internal benchmark. I ran each test at least three times to be sure that the results were consistent. In the first Cyberpunk test, the graphics quality is set to high preset, with DLSS turned off and there is a GPU bottleneck. This is another example where the game mode doesn't provide any performance increase. Please write a comment below if you get different results. In the second Cyberpunk test, I am using the lowest possible graphics settings, with DLSS turned on at ultra performance. Under that CPU bottleneck, the better result is when the game mode is turned off. Because turning this setting on is often recommended in CS optimization videos, I decided to try it again with both CPU and GPU bottleneck. With such high FPS values, 4 or 5 FPS is not a meaningful difference. But still, the better result is when this mode is turned off. I achieve a GPU bottleneck with the very high preset. Reducing the graphics quality to medium preset changes the bottleneck, but that doesn't change anything. I tested every CS graphics preset several times, and I always get the same results. I tested game mode in 10 more games, but I didn't want to make this video unnecessarily longer because I couldn't find even a single example where the game mode provides any performance boost. If you are getting different results, feel free to share them in the comments below with some information about your system configuration. If you find this video helpful and you want to see more settings tested, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.